Hello, everyone. Hello. We're back in SimCity. Yes, uh, SimCity. Yeah. And my town is looking very, very small. Poor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. gonna. I'm gonna. I think this is the episode where I expand, expand, expand. <laughs> nah, very good, very good. Well, you've been playing a bit of this now, haven't you? Between... I, I've been playing a bit. I couldn't yeah. resist. I couldn't help. I should have been working, but screw that. It's SimCity. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been playing a bit, and I've really enjoyed it. It's really addictive. I know, it's fun, isn't it? It's extremely good, the intricacies that you can do in there. But mm. uh, we'll, we'll explore all that while we're recording. Indeed we will, um, indeed we will. I um, still don't know everything about it, so if you have any tidbits, please let me know. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, actually... um depends on what kind of specialization do you want to do with your city. Well, it's a good point, because whenever I've looked at the specializations, I've noted that they really do destroy your, the uh, quality of the land, the, the land value. Oh yeah, don't they? Um, but let's have a look. Um, let's have a look, people, and see what I've got. So, coal. Oh, we've got a bit of coal in there. Mm -hmm. Bit of coal. Let's have a look. Bit of iron. Bit of iron. Because ultimately, we want to use this for the grand project or whatever we choose. Or what? What's the project called? Yes, uh, the great work. The great work. Sorry. Um, but you also make some instant cash. Oh, I've got a huge supply of oil. I have you. Uh, it looks very dark anyway, let's just put it that. Yeah. Yeah, so I have lots of iron and lots of oil. Not so much coal. Very uh, okay. Coal. okay. I actually have absolutely no oil. Okay. None whatsoever. Oh, but okay. I have a lot of ore mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a small patch of coal. Oh, Okay. I'm tempted, actually, uh, and I've never tried this before. I'm tempted to have a go at some of the ore and coal, yeah. and then use that to fund a uh, a gambling city. <laughs> I, I must admit, it was very confusing at one point because I was I, I did have an ore mining facility, I had quite a few, mm -hmm. and yet I was in negative like two thousand, and yet I was gaining money. I was like, wait, why am I still gaining money? Because uh -huh. it doesn't. It sort of gains money aside, yeah. All that, so, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty good. It's yeah. pretty good. Did you also make sure you had a uh, a trading? Um, uh, yes, I did. That's how I was making the money. Ah, good, um, good. Because you sell all, all your uh, yes, you do produce. <laughs> right. So back into the game. Uh, that's the region view, Luke. Still, <laughs> still don't play this at all, do I? Right. So, for my experiences, I want to. Start being a bit more adventurous with my roads. Indeed, you do. Indeed, you do. So I'm on, I have a very small map. Uh, on this, this is a very small map. Yes, the the maps are smaller than than they used to be. But I don't know when you build up the densities, it's not so bad. I think it forces you to be specialized. I don't know if you, you agree yeah. with me there. Yeah. Um, well, I think the idea is that one city shouldn't be handling everything. Everything. Yeah. It should the, the different cities in the region should be working together to have these exactly. different things. But yes, right. I am going to build a bit more industrial. Ah, you so, everyone, are you? <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Well, I'm currently in the middle of upgrading my roads to high density. Oh, uh, are you, you're going all out, are you? I'm going all out, mainly because it's, it's preparation in, in, in advance. Um, okay, okay. That's, okay, that's an interesting okay. tactic. That's okay, interesting tactic. Well, I noticed that you don't have to pay maintenance. No, you My... don't do you anymore. No, so it's just sort of. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, unless it's covered by government, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is, but I, I have noticed an increase in uh, costs anyway. Let's put it as that. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm getting a bit more industrial so that I can unlock the ability to build some or. Extractor facilities ah, okay. or mine, because the requirement is to have seven industrial buildings. Ah, right, okay. And I currently have five. Five. Indeed, I'm going to speed things up a bit while they build this. Okay, okay. But yeah, I, I've tried to have a go at gambling cities a few times now. Have you? And the biggest issue is the crime level. Oh yes, yes. I I did read that on the uh, thing. It was like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> Where it, ju that. <laughs> it jumps dramatically. So what Does I'm it? thinking is, use the money from ore and coal, yeah, to get a really good police force, uh -huh. and then specialize into gambling. Ah, okay. So that the city is protected already. It's prepared. Yeah. 
it's an interesting tactic. I've never bothered with gambling because that's uh, that has been the main thing that's put me off. Because mm. um, there's nothing more annoying than people complaining. Oh. I'm worried about the crime in this city. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no, worried yeah. about this in this city. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I've also got to be wary of where this rail is because I'll probably want the train station to bring in tourists in the future. Ah, uh, yes. So, yes. But uh, I'm going to need one more industrial building. One more. I don't have much demand for industrial at the moment, though, so uh, I don't really want to push it. It's good that the regions are very interconnected as well, isn't it? That in fact, um, if I build loads of houses, they're going to need more work, and it will boost up the industrial for your region yeah, as well. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah, it's a very cool feature. Yeah, time for a bit more residential, I think. A bit more residentially. Yes, yeah, a little bit more residentially. I have some demand for some low and some demand for some medium. So I may just extend our medium wealth zone as well a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just bring that over there and around there. Good. Very good. Okay. Well, I must. I really, really want to be able to build some of the uh, the culture buildings. I, I, uh, I also want to, but they're very expensive initially, but they're worth it. In the oh, moment. yeah. You get so I, much profit when you get... Um, yeah, I know. Some of the visitors. I really want to build the expo center. <laughs> I know. built one and made a huge mistake building that. Oh, how come? Well, it's sort of a risque sort of thing because um, you can build that and you can plan events. Oh, cool. So you can set an event. Um, let's say, for example, if you built... Uh, you have a variety of uh, events. You can have like a, a world uh, soccer uh, tournament or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um and you estimate um, how much profit you would get. But the risque thing of it is you have to contribute a huge amount of money to start the event. Ah, uh, okay. And then you have to bring in the visitors. So if you don't bring in enough visitors to your event, uh, you won't make a profit. Of course. And so you'll uh. lo lose out. So that was the mistake I made because I just assumed, oh, this is the thing I'm going to get. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, oh, it's wow. not. <laughs> Okay, so I, I like that. It's realistic then. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'd imagine, hopefully, when I've got gambling and stuff, the tourism will be relatively high, so maybe it'll go hand-in-hand hand with having an expo centre. Oh, hopefully. Uh, apparently, my government building is demanding more jobs. It's... I have no demand for commercial, though. I mean, industrial, rather. I think I, the more you build houses, the quicker it would go, maybe? I, I don't know. Uh, I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm just going to check the land value. Ah, yes. Got a nice little uh, mid-level area there for our residents. Yeah, very good, very good. Though I've still got some demand for it. Ooh, got demand for in industrial now. That's good. Well, I want to make sure I'm not building over this ore. Which is tricky. I build a little bit here, then I can start specializing into ore. So, get a little bit of road. A little bit of road going there. Indeed, a little bit of road there. <laughs> I've been investing in some more parks. I'm trying to get yeah. up the land value of it and uh, okay. get the people out of those trailers and into some uh, proper homes. <laughs> uh, fair enough, fair enough. Well key thing is i noticed with my gambling city is i had a load of really nice high quality buildings mm -hmm. um but then my industrial areas started demanding more blue collar workers all right yeah. so there wasn't enough like uh manual laborers all oh, right okay so you might might want to keep an eye on that just in case i i have noticed uh the biggest problem has been more and more workers it's just constantly, I need more workers, I need more workers. Yep, yeah. At one point, we'll either have to make another city, which is just completely urban, uh, like a residential uh, suburban area, sorry. Yeah. Um, or invest in um, oh, great works, which is uh, the archaeology, is it pronounced? Which yes, is yes, that creates um, like a hope for people to live at, doesn't it? That's right, yeah. Yeah. But, I'll, uh, uh, tell you what, let's have a quick look at the, okay. great, the great works that are available. Let's have a look. I'm going to reach uh, We have the solar farm, which does look really nice. Oh, I do like that. Produces an awful lot of power for the whole region. Uh, we have the international airport, which is going to be absolutely great for any tourism. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
uh, space center because why not? <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, the arcology. Ah, yes. Which will bring in lots of workers, shoppers, and students apparently. All right. So that's cool. The space center brings in tourists mm-hmm. and improves education. Uh huh. Uh-huh. International airport brings in tourists and oh, apparently you can accept freight as well. Oh, okay. And solar farm is pure power. Okay. Well. Mm, okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll uh, we'll probably need multiple cities, I would imagine, to be able to do these. Definitely, you're just gonna have to. Uh, yeah. Because you you can't specialize everything in one city. Like oh no! Yeah. Saying so. Yeah. Yeah, you are right. We'll definitely yeah. We'll definitely look into multi-city play at some point. Indeed. Indeed. I think I um yeah I can start getting some ore mines. Ah, very good, very good indeed. In which case, I'm gonna plonk one. Hmm. I think <laughs> here. I think there will be a very good place. Um, obviously, you want it to come away a bit, so we'll need a bit of road. Yeah, the music's just got a little bit serious now. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> well, it is. Serious planning, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed, it is. It's all chance play. Yeah, the bit of road there. Yeah, very good, very good. So, how are you finding the game in general then, so far? I am fully enjoying it. I, I cannot express how much, and it was just the simplest things that just make it that much more enjoyable, such mm-hmm. as like the roads, for example, being able to curve them more. And I know, um, I can't remember what the other name of the game is called now, but there's another game that's sort of like SimCity. Uh, is it Cities XL, is it the other? Yes, yes. Uh, which, that's it's sort of been there for a while. But, I mean, it just makes it a lot more better. And the uh, the data, the map data analytics, you can have a look at as well, watching the uh, dirt go around or the waste or <laughs> just watching uh, yeah. the transits go around. It's just <laughs> so much more better. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know what you mean. It is nice, isn't it? Nice. Well, I have an ore mine. You have an ore mine? Oh, wow. Indeed. Wow, and I have massive demand for industrial now. So I think when you specialize into an industrial thing and you have it yeah. nearby your other industrials, yeah, um, the demand just goes up. All uh, right, okay. Yeah, some buildings do that, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Let's see. We can increase our ore extraction or delivery rate if we edit the ore mine yes i know i know but you know <laughs> you're not even open yet let's see i'm able to add delivery trucks uh, ore shafts whatever they do and of course the sign let's put the sign on there we go people know where they work now <laughs> i like how you can edit that the details as well you yeah they are this really nice features i like them i, I like them a lot also, it's nice not being able to have to say, like, put down another hospital. Like, say mm-hmm. you've got one. Mm-hmm. And then if you capa- you're out of capacity, you can mm-hmm. expand it. Oh, yes, I know. It's it's, it's, it's really great, isn't it? Yeah. And I, I like how, because I remember in SimCity 4, uh, the education, for example, or the hospital or the police or whatever, it had a sort of a radius that would say, okay, I'm covering this area. Mm. Uh, my services are provided within this circle. And if you wanted to cover a greater area, you have to put more money in and increases the radius. Well, yeah. that's not the case anymore, is it, for this? You can place it anywhere, and then you have, for example, for the education, you can put uh, bus stops yeah. for the school. And <laughs> it's a lot more better. Mm, it's definitely uh, a lot much more better. Realistic. Just have a look, let's see. We have a worker shortage, dear God. Oh, my God, man. Let's see. Metals buildings need workers to operate. Yep, okay. And also to recommending that I get some ore <coughs> storage at a trade depot. Well, trade depot is definitely something I'm going to need to be able to make mm-hmm. money off of any mm-hmm. of this. Definitely, definitely. So once I can afford that, we'll get it. At the moment, it looks like I need more workers. More, more workers. So yeah, it's going to be like <laughs> the thing that keeps on repeating more yeah, workers. Yeah, yeah, there's constant. I've learned to start to slightly ignore it. Yes. Because I find that if you're trying to dem- to to meet the demand all the yeah. time, then you just end up with a city full of residential. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully that should be just enough to get us enough workers here to start the ore mine. Apparently, it also recommends that ore should be smelted. 
to make it into more higher value goods. All right. But that requires a oh, the, the Metals HQ. And the Metals HQ requires us to mine 96 tons of coal or ore in one day. I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Wow. You literally have to dedicate your town to just doing that. Yeah, you really do. 